Um, Hunter's here. Hey, again. Spyro, I was out here checking out my baby. I'm just checking out his baby. His baby manta rays. So yeah, we have to capture manta rays while riding on a bigger manta ray. And uh, a hunter was about uh, was was like looking after these baby manta rays, and they all like ran away. And he's like, "Oh, let's race to catch them." Uh, so they're just like a trophy to him or something. Uh, and he's like, "Oh, let's get let's see who can get the most before time runs out." But the thing is, it's actually first to eleven. Manta rays, nothing to do with timing. Uh, the manta ray is okay to control, just shooting the net can be annoying, especially if you're not the right angle. You can like just miss. It's also got a health bar because there's some. There are. Um, because there's like a, a couple of octopuses. Octopi? <laughs> or two. Um, uh, and they're like the same colour as the manta rays and it's like if you go into one it'll like ink you and you lose some health but yeah I used to like this challenge I used to find it fun uh, and it still is fairly fun just um, it's, it's kind of easy once you get the hang of it And apparently Hunter is uh, Bart Simpson with his cowabungas. I mean, we had Homer, the, the dragonfly earlier. There's people like the Simpsons. And then we get stupid dragonfly names like Christian Murty. But I mean, I don't know. No offense to anyone with that name, but it seems like an unnecessarily long name for a dragonfly. I just wonder what, uh, wonder what Tom Kenny was thinking when he had to say that line. Oh, and I, uh, since I uh, left a uh, load screen in, uh, just uh, take this as a reminder that this is how long they normally are. <laughs> We're just going through our uh, Doctor Who uh, vortex. Do 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 Still going. You know, maybe I should put like a big like Doctor Doctor Spyro, and he he's in a uh, he's in one of those like portable. His TARDIS is a portable toilet for some reason. Wow. Yeah, now we've got like. Uh, like one more segment of the level left. It's got a cannon. Uh, it's got some enemies, some rocks, and some more arches. Oh, and you don't have to go through all the uh, Arches in one go, you can just like go through two and then go through another two. <sighs> the underwater parts are definitely the most dull parts because there's just a lot of reused aesthetic. It's just the same few um, underwater plants, nothing too interesting. Uh, but at least we're coming out of the water now. Just got to turn around and pick up the uh, gem. Yeah, for some reason this gem sits on top of the water, but the other one was inside. Or like, well, under the water. I tried to get the uh, the five vars wombo combo, didn't quite work. I guess the enemy take priority, the, var the vars can't hurt me, it's not going to 
It's not going to pick itself up and smash me on the head with it. I hope not. <laughs> That'd be something if that happened in this game. But then again, you'd probably be feeling kind of null after all the uh, all the other weird glitches, so you'd probably think nothing of it. Now, do I go free the pig or... Well, I'll try to. <laughs> Weird standing angle. And he's clipping through the thing and the door just popped away rather than sliding. Oh, I don't even go... <laughs> I freed you, but I'm not going to talk to you. I suppose I'm going after this uh, dragonfly. This one can be a bit annoying just because of the gliding, but I managed to get him fairly easily. And Scuttlebutt. Sounds like a uh, sounds like a uh, rejected uh, My Little Pony character. <laughs> So yeah, this is like the only instance of a cannon in this game, and you don't even look at the explosion because cool dragons don't look at explosions, and it gets rid of the rocks there. There's a few uh, vases inside and the dragonfly. The dragonfly that won't be caught. Yeah, it reminds me of that little cave in uh, on the beach in a uh, stone hill. Because there were like four thing, four like chests that you could only charge, and then there was a key which was like gold, and that dragonfly's kind of gold. But yeah, now to talk to the last pig so we can get our uh, dragonfly from him for f freeing him and all his uh, cousins. Although I got a small, well, I got a bit of a glitch. I skipped through the audio too quickly and it didn't catch up and it kind of just, well, you can see for yourself, the the dragonfly did, didn't really work, <laughs> it just disappeared, there was no um, dialogue and I was kind of just stuck here. <laughs> so I had to reload the game, luckily I'd done that Manta Ray challenge so I don't have to do too much. Hello, the gate's open. So I'm slowly going through this dialogue. Look at that. Silly me. Thanks for saving me. So yeah, there we go. And one thing in this game, I don't think this happens in Spyro 2 or 3. Spyro actually talks to the NPCs. It's not just like, oh, Spyro, do this thing. And I know you do it because you won't say no to me. You won't, you won't, you won't talk back. <laughs> now go do it, you obedient dragon. And now we're back to the uh, start. The uh, the higher platforms that you couldn't reach earlier. And always, uh, it's always a good idea to check behind you on this game because they like putting gems and whatnots places like that. And I thought I'd got all the gems there and to not hunt, but. On to the uh, next challenge. It's uh, another two, like parter. Uh, this challenge I didn't like when I was younger. Now I don't mind it as much. I kind of, I mean, it's pretty easy to cheat as well. Uh, the music is uh, some uh, background music that you may. Recognized later on. It's in a later level, but remixed. But yeah, now we're with these other tickies. These, these ones that apparently are good guys. Uh, so maybe, maybe we're the bad guys. We're helping tourists like turn this, this sanctuary, this this peaceful island, into a horrible uh, tourist attraction. 
All, they, all these tickies want to do is play drums and we're just killing them and stealing their gems. But if you haven't already noticed this, yeah, this is one of those memory challenges. Just repeat what they do. But the time they give you, you can't do it to the same beat as them. You can't do their... Uh, you can't just do like... Uh, a tiki a boomer like a tiki a boomer like a why you can look at you whatever the, <laughs> the sounds are you have to kind of rush it you have to just mash them so it sounds a bit like it sounds a bit funny especially if you speed it up because it is just a big um, mess of noises especially in the later ones because there's, there's two challenges one with like so many beats and then the next one is even more that you have to remember so in order to um to press all the buttons quickly enough, uh, you do have to rush it, and it does just sound like a big, like noisy mess. And then I got a bit of a uh, lag like there. Uh, hopefully the lag in these videos won't be too bad. And they'll definitely be gone soon in later Let's Plays. Oh uh, yeah, I like, I like the noises that the uh, Tiki guys make. Um, I remember sometimes just walking around going like Tiki a boomer nigga. But yeah, you can easily kind of like cheat this challenge because just get a piece of paper, just write down the commands that they put in. Like it is, um, it is the top one for them is the top one for us. It's not mirrored. Like it's kind of given by the, because we still have the same shaped drums as them. But someone might think, oh, because they're facing opposite us, I need to press the, the opposite to them. Uh, that's not the case. Maybe I should learn to play the drums. <laughs> I think this is the last round, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, this guy's weird. He's like a mask with face, but he's got like a, a head behind the mask. But he looks like he's made of wood. But... Uh, who knows? Hey, it's Maverick. Then we got Maverick. There's a dragon fight in this level called Gary. I was just thinking, like, I wonder if Tom, uh, Tom Kenny, uh, was like trying his best not to tap into his inner SpongeBob while trying to save the, um, say, hey, it's Gary, because he does sound slightly SpongeBobby. In, uh, when he's voicing um, Spyro. Yeah, and I missed a gem right at the beginning. I missed one here because I was too eager to... Uh, <laughs> I was too eager and I went up the uh, ladder. And then there was this one. And there we have it. Uh, a level complete. And uh, hitboxes. What are they? And then because I'm... Uh, because I'm kind of stupid, I also have to show me going all the way to the exit portal, just in case <laughs> our uh, less um, attentive viewers, and by our I mean mine, because uh, it's not your video. I don't know where the uh, thing is.
the exit portal, and it leads straight to a wall. Bonk. So yeah, that level was, uh, was, I guess it was kind of fun. Certainly one of the more, I'd say, visually interesting levels. So yeah, that is it for this part. In the next part, we should be going to uh, the next level. Which is actually in the uh, first area, like the middle area. Um, so yeah, so on that note, uh, we'll see you later guys. Bye.